Well, as the conflict between Israel and Hamas continues, former Hamas leaders call for a day of jihad today, putting law enforcement agencies around the world on high alert. WREG's Kwamitra Wilburn shows us how groups here in the Mid-South are showing their support and peacefully protesting. Hundreds of people gathered in downtown Memphis to show their support for Palestine. We're here just to express our anger, our frustration, um, our serious emotional state about what's happening in the Holy Land. This comes after a former Hamas chief called for a day of jihad by Muslim communities. Muslims were asked to take to the streets and deliver a message of anger to support Palestinians. This call comes as the conflict in the Middle East rages on, killing hundreds of Israelis and Palestinians. But back on American soil, law enforcement agencies are on high alert in the event violence erupts during the pro-Palestine protest. However, Friday's prayer and protest in Memphis remained peaceful. There is more than 1,800 people being killed and more than 60. Protesters say the calls for increased security are due to misinformation and bias. We are not protesting against Jews or Judaism. We are not going to be defining ourselves as Palestinian Americans standing for the killing of lives of any civil on both sides of the aisle. Protesters we spoke to say they condemn the violence taking place overseas. And they say they're protesting for the end of what they call the illegal occupation of Israel. Our own country, America, the blind support that we, we give them, $4 billion annually for military aid to continue an illegal occupation. This is why we're here. Due to safety concerns, WREG reached out to the Shelby County Emergency Management and Homeland Security Agency. A spokesman says they've been in contact with multiple agencies, including the FBI, but have not been notified of any local threats. Reporting from downtown Memphis, Kwamitra Wilborn, WREG, New Channel 3.